Hey guys, welcome back to A Song or Story a Day. It's me, A Song or Story a Day. And today what I want to talk about um, is just a, just a brief, shorter story today. And part of the reason for that is because I'm a little bit sick. I think I've been sick for a while now, just it's not COVID or anything like that. This is uh, during COVID days, but no, it's not COVID. Um, my, my throat's just a bit off and I don't know, I guess part of it is just fatigue or laziness or whatever it might be. I actually do have a song written, but I'm probably going to cheat and use that for my videos tomorrow or whenever it is I decide to sing it. Um, so I said I'm just going to tell a brief story, but one that I still think is very memorable and hopefully enjoyable. I'll try to make it as entertaining as I can at the very least. Um, in the back, in the whiteboard, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully, I noticed that the camera quality isn't so great when it's very bright and sometimes things aren't as visible. I hope that's not the case here. I hope that's very visible. But, but, in case it's not, it's a piece of paper with D plus written on it. And you see, that is the theme of today's story. Because it was, well, I'll tell you the story. So in elementary, in grade seven, um, and for those of you who maybe don't know what that is, and it, it's it's like the last year of like schooling you do before high school. I guess it depends on which country you're from. I'm just gonna assume you're from North America, because I can't imagine my videos having reach uh, over the pond, so to speak. But anyways, so in grade seven, we go on this field trip. Um, it's like a graduation trip. It's pretty cool. You camp. It's like a camping trip for like a week or two. I can't remember how long anymore. I, I do think it was a, at least at least a week, although I have, I feel like it could have been two weeks, but I think it was just a week. But anyways, that's, that's very besides the point. Um, at the end of the trip, you're supposed to write a report. Well, you have two options. You can write a report, you can do a picture book. And most people wrote a report on their trip, but I was just too lazy to do that. Like I didn't want to talk about all the things that happened and I felt like it'd be so much effort because I had seen a lot of other people's works and like, it was a lot of effort put into them. Like there were pictures that were taken and there was like, it's this whole like ecology report. I mean, it's insane. Um, I didn't do anything. And we were given weeks and weeks to write it after the trip. But I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do something, whip it up in the morning and we're good to go. And so I just made a very, um, very unpolished and very rushed picture book. It was of a quality that I cannot say was very high. But that's, you know, as to be expected of something that was done perhaps an hour or so before it was due. But anyways, I hand in this picture book and weeks go by, we start getting our assignments back. Now this is considered a very big assignment. If you fail this assignment, you have to redo it. I mean, it's just this, you don't want to redo it. And you know, it's shameful and, and I don't know, you know, the, the teachers will probably like, throw you in a closet and, and scream at you or something. I, I mean, I have absolutely no, I don't remember anymore. I just remember it was a fairly big deal that we had to pass this assignment. And I remember sitting in that classroom with about 30 students and the teacher, Mr. Murray, I still remember his name to this day, is uh, handing back the assignments and then he calls my name up and I go and I grab it and I look at it and I pass. I mean, I, I do literally pass. I got something in like the 50s or the 60s. And then well, what's happened at this point is my friend, uh, it's like a family friend, but also a class friend. I was very close with him. He was in the, he was one year younger, but this is like a split year class. He looks at me and he's like, did you pass? And then I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I passed. And then he's just like, he just starts like howling like like yeah good job you know like and then we high five and we're like laughing about it and now the whole class is laughing about it because everyone sort of knows what's going on they know the very little effort that i put into it i mean it's just completely ruined the mood of the class everyone's just laughing and hollering and all that now and then the teacher just absolutely like he's like you know you're getting detention i'm speaking to your your, your parents your family like we're gonna have a teacher parent conference like it's not a joke, etc., 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 and then the whole class just went silent. And meanwhile, my friend and I are still laughing at how stupid the situation is, and how much my friend just totally screwed me by baiting me into this 
inappropriate reaction to barely passing this very important assignment. Anyways, anyways. Fast forward to the meeting itself. Um, it was my grandmother who went because my parents were usually too busy to go to these things. And what had happened was, you know, the, the teacher was actually, I mean, he was fairly kind. You know, he was saying that I was a decently intelligent kid, but I needed to just put more effort into things. I didn't have enough motivation, not enough passion. And that if I didn't put more of myself into the things that I was doing, that, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to achieve the things that maybe I'd be able to achieve otherwise. And, you know, I, I think that's definitely something that I've struggled with for a lot of my life. And, and, and who knows why, you know, um, I'm sure there's plenty of reasons why that might be the case, but certainly it's been an ongoing theme in my life. And that's why in part I'm doing these YouTube videos. I'm trying to put more of myself into the things that I'm doing, especially things that maybe I wouldn't want to do otherwise. Like this whiteboard, I haven't wanted to put, I've had this whiteboard for years, literal years, uh, for other reasons, but I just never wanted to put it up and I just, you know, I never really wanted to take the next step in doing things, you know, and so, um, I don't know, I guess it's something that I'm slowly trying to fix and there's a funny story for you, sort of, hopefully it's funny, hope you enjoyed that. But, um, yeah, a bit of a life lesson in there as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the story. I do have songs ready for you guys. Yeah, you know, I actually have something to say about songs and the amount of effort I put into them. But that, that's a topic for another time. But, um, yeah, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.